You see that well spotted. Aaron in New Zealand, you want to know these cubbies are going to are old enough to start catching prey on their own. Aaron, yes, I would say they are. Very small things like you suggest, lizards, perhaps the odd bush felt gerbil, and maybe some termites and things. That's the little male, I think. Would you agree, Brian? The blue eyed male, or bluish eyed male. So that's George. Charlotte is a little bit more confiding normally, and I'm sure she's in these thickets somewhere. But where Mum is, I don't know. Mum could easily be lying down in the drainage line here, just having a bit of a rest. This is fantastic, isn't that lovely? Just looking forward there. Maybe Mum's inside there. Let's just enjoy little, little George for a while. We're not doing any harm at the moment, so we can be here. We just assess the situation and decide eventually if Karula's here. We have had one sighting of him without his mum before, um, and he was pretty relaxed. But we won't sort of push vehicles through the area if the mother isn't here. Just see a bit of movement down in the drainage to the right-hand side there. Look, just creeping through there in the most cat, whoops, cat-like fashion. Um, Michael, nice question from you. You want to know if we, you, you reckon Charlotte's got a wow-like pattern like her mum's, and that's on the forehead, everybody. And you say, do I use you these unique spot patterns or the whisker spot patterns mostly? Um, Michael? I use the whisker spot patterns. I haven't noticed Charlotte's wow, but once, of course, Karula's wow was pointed out to me, it was so obvious that now I do absolutely use it. But for me, it's normally the whisker spot patterns. Now, Lex, still a visual of only one youngster. We're not going to move from this position.